permits are easy, so you can have this place up and running crazy fast. <laughs> she ain't gonna kill her this episode. I doubt it. Hi guys, welcome back to The Shannon Show. Hello if you're new, so today's video is going to be a reaction of You, Season 3, Episode 1. I hope everybody is doing as well as can be and I really do hope everybody is being as proactive as possible in supporting the Black Lives Matter movement and if you're still on the lookout for some resources I have links down in the description feel free to comment down below your thoughts on my commentary I'm always up for a chat, I'm always up for a debate and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a dislike, no hard feelings and if you really really like this video consider subscribing and helping your girl out so, you Season 3, we've been waiting for it, we've been dying for it, it's October, it's the perfect month to put this out. You is such a ridiculous show and it's so ridiculous that I actually like it. I'm interested to see where they're going to go next with this story because obviously this season is centred around Joe or Will and love and them being a couple and having this new baby. Before there was rumours about the person he was stalking now being his mother but it turns out it's just a whole new bitch. So we already know Joe is back on his bullshit. Will Joe change? I don't think so. Obviously last season they tried to do this like redemption storyline but I don't feel like there is redemption for Joe. I just feel like every season he's gonna be on his bullshit. I feel like now it's just between who is the worst serial killer? Is it Joe or Love? It'd be interesting to see if there's any actual real consequences this season because they've just been getting away with it. Have some actual consequences come into play now, like maybe like a charge, a court case. I feel like it's time now, it's time. Him getting away with all of these serial killings is getting a bit boring in my opinion. They need to switch it up in my opinion. <laughs> but either way, I'm ready for this season, honey. With YouTube, there's only a limited amount of footage that I can use. So if you want the full unrestricted edit, check out my Patreon. Let's get into it, shorty. Headphones. Glasses. Let's fucking go. And they lived happily ever after is the name of the episode. And for the one, I can do anything. For the one or for yourself, bitch. I wolf you. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. And then I realized who I really need to protect our daughter. Daughter. It's a son, isn't it? Her mother. For her. I'd lock myself into this prison. I'm not sure how I'm ever going to get us both self-victimization for me shawty because you are a serial killer as well honey but there's one part of the old me i can't quite shake i still believe in the one oh not him looking for a step mama shawty i never thought to wonder what happens after boy gets girl boy gets bored and finds a new bitch some boy. <laughs> I'm fucked. And so is he. So he doesn't care now that it's a boy. He doesn't feel like the boy needs protecting. Bit weird. Safest neighborhood in the Golden State. And who wouldn't sell their soul for that? I mean, your soul is already gone, I think. Like, after at least, like, the fourth kill, honey. We're a family. <sighs> Me? A boy and his mom. The baby's cute. Who is usually great, but occasionally murders people with her bare hands. What could go wrong? Like you. Like you, bitch. <laughs> Y'all is the same. <laughs> That's what I'm not looking forward to, the sleepless nights. Just stay a cute, silent baby. I'm fine is code for nipples are bleeding, hormones still a mosh pit, haven't slept in six months, and have not begun to process the death of my brother. I'm here. Where's my perfect boy? Look what Glamour got 40. Glamour? Well, Henry smells like he needs a change. Oh, I'll do it. If you just, uh, 
Take a few photos from my feed. Ah! Oh. oh my god. And her shaman officially confirmed that Henry is 40, reincarnated. Oh my god. At least, I have a small remnant of my former life. What you doing? Not even taking a break to rest. Taking a rest to be back on his creepy shit. I found willing buyers online, and I send the profits to Ellie whenever I hear from her. Okay, well, he's still taking care of Ellie. That's nice. That tone, warm with an undertone of peach level condescension. We're doing great. <laughs> like, I need her approval. Now, what the fuck? It's like getting a stab her in the eye. <laughs> Period. I'm in the trenches with a woman who jokes about stabbing someone in the eye, but is actually perfectly capable of it. Hey, do you want some? I don't like how he's trying to shift blame. Our neighbor, Natalie. She, she, she didn't give us a housewarming gift. Nothing when 40 was born. Don't expect housewarming gifts, yeah. You go, you go get a half from me. That's it, honey. If even. Why does my own child not like me? You know, babies can tell when your heart's not in it, Joe. I, what? Just, no, I'm sorry. It's all in my head. Interesting. The baby likes love, but not Joe. But love is supposedly the worst serial killer. Interesting. Love's right. My heart's not really in it. How could it be when you stole it? Mm, he's already in love. Hey, uh, we're running low on diapers, so I'll be right back. Hello, neighbor. <sighs> Are they actually having an affair, or is this his fantasy? I'm guessing this is just a fantasy. Yeah. Also. And I'd save you a trip. You've been watching me too. Thank you. One more thing. Don't believe the bullshit about breastfeeding preventing pregnancy. Well, she did get them a gift. But yeah, like the diapers, okay, but the condom, girl. I don't know about that. Truth. I've made mistakes in the past. Hmm. Would you be a mistake? Yes, you will be. Whenever I hang with Henry. Oh my god, a cap on. Ugh. He's gonna put a cap on Henry. I have to protect him at all costs from what happened to me. Joey! Hey, where's your mom and Ellie? Joey's Joey. 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 No, now Joey was bullied as a child. The rest of us are trying to deal with how no one fucking wants us. Face it. When our parents gave us up, they threw us away forever, man. Billy didn't agree, time. I don't feel sorry for you, Joe. You left college early when you met your husband, tech entrepreneur Matthew Engler. So she's married. Yeah, I could go for some coffee. Amazing! Great! <laughs> we got a group. <laughs> But love, if you feel like these are fake ass bitches, why are you hanging with them? Are you that lonely? It's sad. Hi. So are you gonna chase after her? Or could I maybe help you with something? Oh, she picked the game. Natalie picked it up for you. You are flirting with me. What do you think, guys? I mean, he may have a point. The name of your blog again? Oh, she's heart-shaped mistakes. You seriously haven't read it? No. <laughs> Orphans oxytocin. It's incredible for breast milk. In fact, if you're not orgasming, your breast milk probably isn't doing it for your baby's precious growing brain. She needs to mind her business. I 
Am I interrupting your reading? No. Jeff. Why wouldn't you talk to me? What if we talk? Something's going on. You're, you're always distracted. I'm not distracted. Why, why won't you tell me? Girl, you want a something. How'd you get my number? My husband, Matthew, works in tech. She's got... She's got his number. I don't know. Maybe she's a private detective or something. I did not buy her being... I did not buy her wanting to have an affair with him. Or even be friends. There's no such thing as privacy in Madre Linda, including here. See? So she's the lonely prisoner wife who wants Joe of all people. Hmm. You got my book. Hmm. Oh, shit. Whoa. Uh. Oh. How did that happen? Do you have a first aid kit? Yeah. He's gonna go sneaking. It feels right. Taking care of you. Oh, he didn't go sneaking. Okay. He's gonna go sneaking later. I think if it's right, it stays. So how long did it stay with you in love? It's cut. Ugh. Natalie, you do not want to mess with this guy. We slept in separate rooms. I'm an insomniac. Also, a slob. Those are the panties he- ah! I didn't even get to finish my sentence. Joe. Hmm. Joe! Natalie! Yeah, Natalie. It was nice knowing you, girl. <laughs> no. I'm just looking for a friend. You still kissed her and you stole her panties, so you're not off the hook, Joe. I, th I thought... I, I, I got there, and then I thought about actually seeing my mom, and I went and got Hagen Dazs instead. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. I'm sorry for running off. I just. <sighs> Not him double dipping the lips. Well, I am generous. You really are. You really are. And I'm an asshole. No, you're not. You are. Yeah. Me too. Kissing up on her. He's got Natalie's panties in his pocket. <gasps> no, at least love's finally getting some. Fun fact, Sherry had to post an apology video in August 2020 after it was discovered that she had a massive party while the rest of us were home. Oh, there was a pandemic in the news world, okay. Andrew Jackson. Now that is unfortunate. Oh my god. I'm not them doing stalking together. Oh, hi. Natalie and Matthew Engler. Natalie's at this party. Oh. oh, she looks amazing. She is a bad person. Oh. Matthew was married to this incredible woman named Mimi and mother of his child. And then, well. He met Natalie. Oh, and she doing it again, Natalie. Oh, is that what you want, girl? Also, the point is spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> we as a species deserve to go extinct. Uh-uh, maybe you, baby. Not me. Maybe you. He said the brother's a crackhead who got himself killed. And the dad's shady, too, apparently. Navrin is a front. Money just papers. Uh. You better 
attack that bitch? May I state the obvious? Sherry Conrad is a terrible person. Nah, these people are trifling. You fucking believe who <laughs> runs this town, so you kind of can't get righteously indignant? Oh, nah, bitch. She would have got wine spilled on her that night, baby. And not by accident. Get her to respect you. Apparently, you both being nice to the wife of the husband you were just trying to cheat with. There's nothing authentic or intimidating about me. I'm just a stay-at-home mom, slowly going insane. Oh, I'm just thinking about who the victim of the season's gonna be. It's gonna be between Natalie and Sherry. Well, maybe both, who knows? I can't believe we've been living next door for months. Joe's seen more of you than I have. Oh, um, not really. Oh yeah, he has, honey. I'd love to have you both over for a drink sometime. It's crazy we haven't had either of you at the house yet. We'll do it soon. Eh, you lying ass bitch. Yeah, that sounds great. Definitely. Love knows she's lying. Love knows! Love knows! Look at her eyes. She knows. She knows! What is wrong? Love? What's wrong is that I have been doing everything for this family and you've been too busy fucking the neighbor to notice. What? Ah, I knew it! I don't know what she said, but I told you the truth about the other night. We had a drink. She, she started acting a little crazy. I left. Oh. Okay, so they did have a talk about it. He was supposed to be a girl. What does that fucking matter? I don't even, I, it, I don't, it doesn't. Yeah, what does that matter, Joe? Because it's a bit weird. We could start new. Be safe. And never have to do anything bad ever again. Never have to do anything bad. Interesting use of language. I'm going to make this work. No matter what it takes. Natalie, let me give you some advice. Don't do it. It's crazy. I'll give you two bucks, huh? And this isn't a pawn shop, sir. We don't negotiate late fees. Manager, I want to speak to a manager. <laughs> Girl, try your luck. <laughs> She's gonna find the panties. Okay, maybe not today. Hi, Natalie. Yep. Yeah, I wanted to see that uh, that place you were talking about for a bakery. Okay, she's putting business beside her trifling that's trying to cheat with her husband. Okay. Okay, get that money, girl. I'm gonna do everything I can. I just don't know what that means yet. More killing, probably. Landlord has another offer. But he loves me, so sign a three-year lease today and you're golden. Three years. See a little scammer. Can I, can I see downstairs? Yeah. Let's go. Downstairs, that's what the, oh! That's what the new basement's gonna be. <gasps> she did find the panties. She did find the panties. Permits are easy, so you can have this place up and running crazy fast. <laughs> she ain't gonna kill her this episode. I doubt it. He took more than the panties, girl. And he took her blood. What is wrong with Joe? Bottom line, in the right hands, this place could be a raging success. So, what do you think? <gasps> eh. Love! I think we need to go to couples therapy. <laughs> oh. 
I thought it was going to be Joe the first one to kill. Love, I was rooting for you, girl. <laughs> How are you going to prove Joe's point? Girl. <laughs> and then imagine after she kills Natalie, if she has killed Natalie, she takes the lease. But she could still be alive, maybe. Maybe she could still be alive. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. There's me thinking it was between Natalie and Sherry, but I guess it was Natalie. But maybe there's more to come. There was at least three deaths last season, I believe. Yeah. So there's definitely more deaths to come. <laughs> Well, Joe hasn't got a distraction yet. Maybe he might find a new distraction. But do you think Natalie's dead or not? Is she the person that they were burying in the trailer? Let me know. Let me know. But I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of here for, for Joe and love in this you know, killer couple thing that they got going on. I feel like they see each other, you know? But yeah, good luck, Henry. Do let me know what your thoughts were on this episode. Do let me know what your thoughts were on my commentary. I am open to doing a reaction series, so I'm going to hold off watching the rest of the episode. But like I always say, I can't promise anything. So if you don't see a reaction to the next episode up on my channel within the next week or so, just assume the reactions are not going to continue. But if you really, really do want to see reaction continue, send me a request on Patreon. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and if you have don't forget to put my notification bell on so you know my next video is dropping I'm also trying to get to 3.9k subscribers That's my next short-term goal and I'd appreciate if you helped me hit that and thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel so far Till next time guys. Bye